only exclusive. A man had his skull crushed while working out at a gym. The suspect was an employee at LA Fitness. The victim had a long road to recovery, and for the first time, he is sharing his story, saying it's a miracle he's alive. Local Times Rosh Lowe is live in North Miami with the exclusive Rosh. Louie, this is just an incredible story. If you've been to the gym, you know that ab machine. And when you're doing that workout, you really can see behind you. In this case, police say this man had his skull crushed. A guy hits him with a heavy metal bar. As you can imagine, gym goers absolutely shocked. This man thought he was going to lose his life. And for the first time, he now shares his story. In this video, you see LaVenture Thermidor on an app machine moments before his skull was crushed after cops say an L.A. fitness employee hit him over the head with a lat pull-down bar. He didn't finish. An L.A. fitness employee hit him over the head with a lat pull-down bar. Give me an idea on that L.A. fitness employee, man. I don't remember Crump talking about this. <laughs> this would have been national news if that LA fitness employee was a glider. Man, <laughs> man this would have. Listen, LA fitness would have had. To, listen, if this was a glider, LA fitness employee that did this to one of the um, one of the um, LA fitness would be out of business, man. Press one to lose his life and for the first time he now shares his story in this video you see laventure thermidor on an app machine moments before his skull was crushed after cops say an la fitness employee hit him over the head with a lat pull down bar he didn't finish hitting me and running he hit me he spit on me and he kicked me Days before, LaVenture says he had a minor disagreement with the then L.A. fitness employee, Christian Rollins. He Christian Rollins, man. So they got into it days before. They got into it days before. Listen, man. This was... A, hey, man, listen, man. Me, personally... I probably would have went wouldn't have went back to the LA Fitness because I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. It ain't never over with a sudden man, man. It ain't never over. Press one. It's never over. This stuff man probably felt embarrassed. You probably had him hemmed up and shit. Probably was throwing him around. Oh man. It's never over. He spit on me and he kicked me. Days before, LaVenture says he had a minor disagreement with the then L.A. fitness employee, Christian Rollins. He believes Rollins was waiting for him. He says his survival is a miracle. That night, God sent me back. God sent me back. And you can see in the video, Gym goers use paper towels to try and stop the bleeding. Everybody that, that night. Gliders, man. Shout out to you gliders, man. Salute to you gliders, man. Saving another son, man, life, man. <laughs> Too bad they fucking hate you, man. But salute to you gliders, man. It's hard to sit there and watch somebody bleed to death, even if they do hate you, man. <laughs> that provided towels, water trying to keep me, trying to keep life in me. This was last June, and for the first time, LaVenture is able to share his story. People told me he walked tiptoeing behind me. And then the metal bar over his head. Rollins has been arrested, and his face in. Look at that look, man, that beady-eyed stare, man. This dude ain't do nothing wrong, man. He just doing him, man. Y'all should never brought us over here, man. <laughs> 
I should have left us in the jungle, man. He ain't doing nothing wrong, man. Man disrespected him, man. So what is in front of a bunch of people? So what is at his job? We wouldn't have jobs, man. Wouldn't have weights, man. Wouldn't have metal bars and shit, man. Dude, they do nothing wrong, man. This was last June, and for the first time, LaVenture's able to share his story. People told me he walked tiptoeing behind me. And then the metal bar over his head. Rollins has been arrested and is facing an attempted second-degree murder charge. I love my dad a lot. LaVenture's a father of three. I said, thank you, God, for bringing my dad back. This family is just grateful they have each other. God told me my work is not done. I had to come back. And this story is not only about cruelty, it really is about the power of the human spirit and kindness because the dad here says, and he credits those gym goers with really saving his life. As I mentioned, they were in shock. He saw the video, but everybody rushed to help him. And, and yeah, all that's fine. But if a crackhead in fucking bubble fuck Indiana ODs in the back of a squad car tomorrow. This guy's gonna be like, fuck all you guys. <laughs> fuck all police and fuck white supremacy and all that shit. Tomorrow. Press one. <laughs> I had to come back. And this story is not only about cruelty, it really is about the power of the human spirit and kindness because the dad here says, and he credits those gym goers with really saving his life. As I mentioned, they were in shock. He saw the video, but everybody rushed to help him. And that was critical. If you would like to help out this father and his three children, go to our website, local10.com, where a GoFundMe has been set up.